I want to show you another example of how easy it is to create SQL views that look at Dynamics GP data that you can use within Dynamics and outside of Dynamics and how easy it is to get these views from information that's readily available on the Internet. Victoria Uden writes a blog which is perhaps the best source of SQL view information for Dynamics GP. I came across this article this morning, and this is a wonderful view. This view looks at payables invoices, but also delivers the detail from the purchase orders associated with it. So let's take a look at it. This is a view that you can create in SQL Server, and I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you how you can use this in Excel and also in Dynamics GP in SmartList. So let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to copy this information. So I'm going to select the first part of it here, scroll down. And I'm going to copy that. Now the next thing you want to do is go over to SQL Server. So I'm in the SQL Server Management Studio. And what I want to do is create a new query. So I'm going to create the query here. And then I'm going to paste Victoria's language into the spot here. So let's do that. And again, what this is going to do, this is going to create a view. You can see the name of the view down here at the bottom. It's going to be view underscore payables. You can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to execute this query. It's completely successful. So the next thing we'll do is we can look at this view. We'll go into the views here. And I'm going to just refresh that. We'll open up the views. And let's scroll down the bottom here. And we can see it right here. Here's a view right here that we just created. And let's tap, take a look at it. So here's the information that's being delivered from the SQL Server database. You can see here I've got information on a PL level, but I also have individual line items right here. So there's a couple things I can do with this. One thing I do is I can copy and paste this into Excel. So let's try that. So I'm going to select all of it. I'm going to copy it. And then let's go over to Excel. And I'll just paste it in there. So here's all my information. So that's nice, but what I really like to do is I like to take this information and put it into a pivot table so I can easily analyze it, and it's easy to do. So I'm going to insert a pivot table on this data here. Let's just pull some information down into the dimension area here. So I've got these different dimensions, and I'm going to pull in vendor ID, PO number. Let's scroll down a little bit. We've got some item information here. And then let's pull in extended costs and quantity invoiced. So what's nice about this is this gives you a nice report. It subtotals it automatically. It sorts it so that you can easily analyze it. So here we're looking at it by vendor. It's easy to look at this information by item number. So now I've got by item number who I purchased this stuff from how much I purchased, and what POs it was on. I also may want to add the unit cost. I can easily grab that from the dimension area, pull it down in here, and now I see the unit cost as well. I can compare unit costs across vendors and across POs. So another way I can use this view is I can create a smart list using Smart List Builder. The advantage of this is that it will make this view and this information readily available to all users within my system. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll navigate over to Smart List Builder, and we'll create our Smart List. And we'll give it a name here. And I'm going to assign it to the Purchasing Series. So the next thing we need to do is add our view to the Smart List. It's easy to do. I'll click on the plus sign here. Go to the SQL Server table. Look at the views. Here's our new view that we just created. I'm going to have to identify a key field, which is easy to do. I'll just pick the voucher number, save it, save this. Automatically goes into my smart list. I don't want to select some default fields. I have to select at least a few. So let's select those here. And you can select as many default fields as you want to, but you can always add additional fields to the smart list when you bring it up in Dynamics. So let's just save it now. And let's take a look at it in smart list. Let's go over to smart list. 
we'll open up smart list and remember I put it in the purchasing series and here it is right here we can open that up see it look at the view it pulls in the current information so now I've got all the functionality of smart list right for this particular view that we just created so I can dump it to Excel I can do add additional columns to this it's really quite helpful if you spend much time at all looking at blogs, reading blogs that have anything to do with Dynamics GP, you're bound to come across a SQL view that you can use in your business. So try it out. It's really quite easy.